Indian Prime Minister arrived in Sydney yesterday for the third and final leg of his three-nation tour. Apart from being a member of the Quad Grouping, India is also Australia's largest source of skilled migrants and the second largest source of international students. This morning, Narendra Modi met Australian CEOs and eminent personalities. He will also address the Indian diaspora at a community event. Our principal diplomatic correspondent spoke to former Australian Senator and the CEO of India Australia Institute. Diaspora Connect is a major focus of Prime Minister's visit. He's going to address uh, the Indian diaspora here in Sydney in a mega event. You're part of the Indian diaspora. How do you see the Indian diaspora being that living bridge between India and Australia? Well, I think this is where the Indian diaspora in Australia really uh, carries two hearts. They carry their home here in Australia and their home in India. Mm. And they carry that with them here whilst living in Australia. Mm. Also, recognising since uh, Prime Minister Modi's last visit in 2014, our Indian diaspora here has grown exponentially, mm. nearly to a million now, mm. making it one of the fastest growing uh, diasporas out of all in our multicultural fabric in Australia. And that cultural diplomacy, building those people-to-people -people links, mm -hmm. is really what is going to drive a deeper Australia relationship, particularly in the business sense. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's so significant and why it's so important that uh, there is an engagement mm -hmm. for uh, Prime Minister Modi with the diaspora whilst he's here. Mm -hmm. Of course, he did do that last time as well when he visited in 2014. Mm -hmm. And I recall that visit. In fact, I was there at that visit uh, at uh, our Sydney Olympic Park, uh, where you know he he really was there in front of a crowd of over twenty thousand people. Mm. I understand that that's going to be repeated, if not more than twenty thousand this 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 evening, which just shows you the strength of um, interest in Australia India relations uh, beyond the sort of the hard power, military uh, and political geopolitical sense, but right down to the cultural and people-to-people -people links. How much China is a worry for Australia? Because, as you pointed out, uh, when it comes to border issues, it has been something that has led to um, the relationship between India and China going southward. So, essentially, how does an average Australian or the Australian authorities see uh, the aggressive Chinese posture in the region? Well, I think China's assertiveness is there uh, outside of uh, an international rules-based order. Mm. Now, what Australia and India have in common is, is the rule of law, international law, uh, wanting to be part of multilateral organisations, things like the Quad and ASEAN and uh, uh, all of the rules that go along with playing in that domain. And I think that that sort of assertiveness that China has displayed is, has been a little bit outside of that. Mm. Now, that's not to say that, um, that there shouldn't be some sort of dialogue to ensure that we do have and, and can sort of help shape the type of Indo-Pacific region we want to see. Mm. But for now, uh, the countries that are really playing by the rules and that want to continue to do so and have a stronger relationship to, do, to help shape the region are Australia and India. Mm. There's so much that we can do together to really ensure we have a peaceful and stable Indo-Pacific region. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.